Hi guys, it's me again, Dynaman. Um, I'm going to do this video and it's all about uh, an upgrade I'm doing um, to my Mac Pro 2008 edition Mac Pro and it's going to speed it up nicely. Um, here we have the box. Yeah, from Amazon. What I'm going to do now, lads, is I'm going to open this box to let you have a look at what's inside it. Um, it's a very good little gadget, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video, lads. So sit back, have a cup of coffee, a bag of crisps, or a cup of tea, or something like that, and enjoy. So, anyway, we'll get the camera set up and we'll unbox this little whatever it is in here. Can't keep you guessing for now. And, uh, Let's just set the camera up. Right, lads, here's the box. Now I'm going to unbox it. So get my trusty knife out. Box. Now there's a little tab here, you just pull and it opens it up. That's handy. Save me using my knife. Right. Let's have a look what's in here. Here it is, guys. Here it is. There we go. It's a SATA hard disk drive converter. And it's Basically, what it's for is to put my SSD drive in and it converts it into a normal hard drive. So, once I get it in here, I turn it upside down, screw it to a sled, and it can go straight in the Mac Pro. So, without further ado, lads, we'll open this box up and tell you what's in it. Right. Shouldn't be too hard. See what's in here. Here it is. Bit of tape on. There's the, there's the case. You'll also get some instructions. Tell you how to install your SSD into your case. Um, before I actually put my SSD in this, uh, I've had it on a PC. So what I'm going to do is delete the partition because I'm going to cut mount. I'm going to put a uh, line on it. So I'm going to delete the partition, put it in here, put in the Mac Pro in Drive Bay One, and install Lion on it. So, I will show you the SSD and um, we'll go from there. Anyway, we'll just look at the instructions for now. You see all the instructions there in English. It's pretty self explanatory, really, but there you go. We'll show you the SSD. Right. Here's the SSD drive, it's the Vertex 4 by OCZ, 128 gigs. Uh, I've got one of these in my PC at the moment. Very good drive, very fast, and it's got my Windows 7 installation on it, and I've not had any problems with it at all. It's been a fantastic, fantastic drive, it loads very fast, and it actually shuts down a lot quicker as well than the old standard spin drives uh, so yeah this vertex 4 is going to go inside this case i'm going to show you how to put it in uh, the case and we'll take it from there so that's the ssd drive there right let's have a look in here see what we get you get two little indentations here on these these are called the um 
IC dock drive. It's made of plastic. As you can see there it's got three mounting screw holes here on one side and it's got the same again on the other side. So it's got six all together on the sides. Let me turn it over. This is where it comes in only for the Mac Pro. We have four screw holes which actually mount uh, to the sled inside the Mac Pro. So it'll fit inside there without doing any other modifications. I think it's very handy. Um, that's your uh, that's your uh, SATA connection there at the end. So without further ado, we'll open this baby up. See how it goes. There's also some little arrows on here. So push it that way. Um, open, close. So it says that. It actually says it on it. Open and close. So I'll pull it towards us. It's a bit stiff, but. There we go, Let's the top off. In here you have a bag of gel. This is for moisture, this is to get moisture in it. A bag of screws, four off. And then you've got the other connection. The other connection here, which your SSD drive plugs into. So we'll take the SSD drive. Put it in. This is the SSD drive in. We push it into the mountain. Now I've pushed it in. And it's in. Simple as that. And if you want to take it out, you just press this lever here and it pulls it back out afterwards. So that's in there. And all you do is put your lid, put your lid on top, like that, and push it that way. It's closed. Closed now. Simple as that. So now that's a standard hard drive size. Put your drive sled on here on these four screw holes and that's it. You plug it back into the Mac Pro. So there you go lads. That's the IC dock. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video lads. And it's Dynaman saying bye for now. Bye.